My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Disco Elysium, where we need to upgrade our shivers by one point and listen to the wind again. Actually, hang on, no, we have the ability- ooh, ooh, it's a long way away though. Okay, I'll come back here tomorrow. We have the ability to talk to the legendary dice maker and invoke shivers in a check there, so if anything, we should do that check and then try and do this. I mean, it's pretty pretty late at night. I should probably just be able to sleep right now, right? I don't really need Kim to go away for anything anymore. Good night, Kim. Well, except for talking to Lilian. Ooh. Shivers. A brisk coastal wind still howls against the window of the shack. Occasionally, the waves crawl in under the foundation, producing a low hum. Listen, the room feels muffled, like you pulled your hat over your ears. Outside, it's cold and windy, but you're inside and it feels safe and warm. What is this place to you? My new hangout, where I silently sit, drink and die while looking at the waves roll in, my forward base for the coastal part of the operation. It's free, that's good enough, I could live here. A possible resting space for my fugitive is what it is, or looks like my new home. Wonder where my old one went. It's free. That's good enough. I could live here. Waves crash onto the beach, drowning the reeds. Far to the south, a congregation gathers to a soup kitchen in a shelter for the homeless. An old woman gives out knitted scarves for free. This could have been you. This still could be you. A down on his luck nobody trying to survive. Thank you, strange sensation, for a fair assessment of the current situation. Outside, the howl of the wind is picked up. The waves crash against your stilts again. It's as if you think the thought, but in someone else's voice. Revishal forever. Hmm. Alright, let's go talk to Lily again. Kim's not around, so it's no longer awkward. Gotta take the stuff out of my hand so I have high suggestion. Because of my finger guns. And then also raise my suggestion with anything else that'll do it. Navy coat. Navy coat might actually be it for our suggestion there. Gotta get the horrific tie back on. It's looking like that might be it. And it was. Alright, fine. Hey, Lillian. Aye, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's on your mind, officer? <sighs> Look. I think we should go out. Dang it. <laughs> uh, okay, I failed this time again. I think I'm going to have to fail in a different way just for the sake of the story. Alcohol makes closeness possible. Let's connect. Alcohol, connect. I'm not sure I'm following you. There's confusion in her eyes. Get hammered with me. On a date. Drunk date. It'll be nice, I promise. She bursts out laughing. That's a really good impression. That's a really good impression. No, hang on. That's a really good impression. You really cracked me up, officer. Now, how can I help you? She doesn't even understand you asked her out. Perhaps you're too sober to pull it off right now. Try again later. Uh, I probably can't just drink and do that, especially considering alcohol does nothing to me anymore. I didn't even have a teetotaler option there, unfortunately. Okay, start of the next day. We want to take the Kvalsund and try and see if the ice has thawed and we can do anything. That's about it. The bed feels almost like home now. Quiet and dignified around you. A new life by the seaside. You're incredibly tired. The dark and warm come fast. You're falling asleep. Easier this time. Drifting off. Your head has found a comfortable indent in the pillow. Your legs and your torso feel like 
lead weights sinking to the bottom of the sea until they're suddenly light. This respite, you've earned it, Brava. Bask in the darkness. Let it swallow you up and swivel you around while you forget everything you've managed to remember. But I've been bad. I haven't earned this. Now you haven't. You've just been. Is this the last dream? No. This is the one before that. We'll just keep cycling it for you if you don't mind. As long as we can. Spin it like black yarn. Enjoy it while it lasts. Thank you, Darkness. Thank you. You're welcome, Harry boy. You earned it. Fall into a deep, uninterrupted sleep. After centuries of darkness, the alarm rings. But what's this? You actually feel rested. There's no time to cuddle with your pillow, however. Or as much as shiver from the cold. The world awaits. Go. Open your eyes. Oh, that's the best dream we've had. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder what I did to appease that. All right, up you get, buddy. Come on. Eve, oh, Eve, oh, rock back and forth, and there you go. We're all good. All right. False wound in hand. Go up. Oh, should I go up? Yeah, I go up first. That's that's the same location as the novelty dice maker as well for the other shivers roll. So handy. Good morning. Oh, hang on. I should also see if I can talk to the kids. Yeah, they are already hanging out here. Hey, I've got a toy for you. Kids, have you seen any bad people around? One of the twins looks up, his mouth slightly open. What bad people? He asks. I don't think questioning for yours about their parents' presence, uh, without their parents' presence is going to catch the case, says the lieutenant. Bye-bye, kids. Take care. What about Lily's daughter? Maybe she's into it. Because that's the only thing I can really think of as being a use for. Oh, she's gone. Hmm. Interesting. Characters being gone from the location they're usually in usually means they've replaced themselves elsewhere. I don't really know where she would have ended up. I'm worried this is like a hint that uh, something's happened and now you're gonna have to go save Lillian's kid as part of a quest. Still just tapping this occasionally to make sure that I don't accidentally walk past something important. So I thought that Sooner's quest was gonna be the one that actually advanced the main storyline, but it appears not to be. It appears like doing Evrats has done way more for that. So we'll start out by talking to Hardy and the Hardy boys. Tell them about pigs. The Copper Nado is back. What do you want? There's an old catatonic lady in the old fish market on the other side of the bay. She needs help. The big man laughs, nearly spitting out his beer. What's that, Carver? You want us to help little old ladies now? You're local law enforcement, don't you? The lieutenant looks tight in the eye. Helping troubled citizens should fall under your jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah, we'll send someone out. Who is... Wait, it's the pigs, isn't it? Yep, her. He pushes up his cat. God, poor lady. Don't worry, we'll handle this. I think she's got some family in Koran or something. Bastards left her alone when she got sick, and we've been getting complaints. Hey! Eugene interjects. Wasn't Evrot's big team looking for her the other day? They said something about, uh, I don't know, finding something? Yeah, think you're right, Gene. Titus gives him a beer and turns to you. She have something of yours, pig? She 
She had my gun. I know Kim's gonna get mad at me for saying this, but I have it now, or Kim does. She had my gun. You're fucking with me. The big man slams his beer onto the table. Your gun! She had your fucking gun! Sure did, boss. The rat man's face is twisted into a smile. Heard him loud and clear. The pigs lost his gun to the pigs. The big man stares at you, still stunned. Too stunned to even drink his beer. Where is it now? He asks slowly. I don't see it. The copper NATO. You don't need to know that. <laughs> Alright. You have anything more to say to me now that I know more about the world? No, nothing at all? That makes sense. Hey, my co-workers! I finally solved Everard's case. Yes? What is it? No? Not interested? Again. Neither? Alright. I think one last talk with uh, Classia up here. Just because I'm in the area, I might as well see if there's anything that's evolved in any of these storylines. So I'll go for one last conversation with Classia while I'm here, and then over to the novelty dice maker, down to the bottom of those stairs to see if the Kvalsund is enough now. Should be good. Hey, what's up, Klausia? Hello, Oth. Nothing. Actually, there's fewer load screens, I think, if we go in through this way. Is it good if we kick the door in? Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Fine, never mind. Thought I was just gonna be able to enter, but I forgot that is actually locked. Wait, no. It's such a small thing to be able to interact with there to actually get down. Most checks have secret difficulty modifiers. Talking to the right person can reopen a white check. Uh, so I'm trying to talk to everyone left, uh, to everyone around, rather. Maybe the dice maker has more to say now. I'd hope at least. Not just the shivers, but maybe some more information about Fortress Accident. Maybe uh, w what she knows about sooner. Not that I imagine it'll be relevant or useful at all, but worth a try. Ice around it slowly melting. It still says ice around it slowly melting. Well, it's not going to work. And I've already increased my uh, physical instrument. And I can't drink to increase my physique. Um, I think what I need at this point is something that increases our physique for us. Otherwise, I actually think I can't finish those quests. Or maybe a thought that gives us the ability to study more. One sec, I'm going to try and get through here. No? Okay, fine. Maybe a thought that gives us the ability to gain extra physical stats would also be useful. Just don't know what that thought would be or how I would get it. Why hasn't her business failed? All right, let's actually pop on our Shivers outfit. Which is literally just a different tie, a different shirt. Actually, no, I'm still wearing the Shivers shirt. That's fine. Pretty sure I don't have anything else that increases my Shivers at this point. But again, I'd be remiss if I didn't do a quick check at the least. Somehow I feel like I'm about to leave this storyline undone, though. Sadly. It's pretty cool. That actually did increase my shivers again. Me. Why hasn't your business failed? A gust of cold air sweeps through the chimney. The stones and minerals on the shelves rattle as though agitated. For a moment, it almost feels as though you're outside the building, exposed to the atmosphere. This is still just a theory, but hear me out. I think I know why your business hasn't failed. Didn't we already talk about this? She asks, as the wind continues to seep in through the cracks in the old chimney. It's because you're not in the same building as the others. This isn't technically the doomed commercial area. What are you talking about? She says, shaking her head. My address is exactly the same. Rue de Saint-Guichelaine 10. 
No, the old coal plant that used to be here was subsumed into the new venture. It's ruins swallowed up. Yet it has a different address in the heart of the city. No, this used to be a coal plant. Touch the safety curtains. You're in a chimney of another building. That doesn't make any sense. She looks around the makeshift nest she's carved out for herself, bewildered. Are you saying my business was spurred because of a technicality? Is that where this comes from? Where is this coming from, brother? Um, I'm just using logic. It's windy in here. You probably haven't properly sealed the chimney crown, point above. Hmm. She says, looking up. You're right. I should take a trip to the roof once the snow is gone. Does that mean I'm safe from failure? Don't let her become complacent. She's only used to ward her soul against the evil forces. Actually, it's only your workshop that's protected. You should still do something to defend your person. No one's ever really safe from the failure. There you go. No one's ever really safe from the failure. She starts laughing, her fingers trying to rub away the exhaustion from her face. What? Do you know what this place is? What this is, rather? She raises her hand to reveal a piece of metal shining on her index finger. I don't care what it is. I only came to tell you why you haven't failed yet. No. That's just rude. Looks like a regular piece of jewelry to me. It's a morning ring, she replies. I made it when my country, uh, my first com company failed. It was a small jewelry shop right here in East Delta Commerce Center, built with the little I'd inherited from my parents. I drove it into the ground within a year. I didn't have what you could call a viable business plan. Why are you telling me this? I wasn't always, it wasn't always the jewelry shop either. I always wanted to think it was just this world that you were supposed to try again until you finally succeed. And now you're telling me what? She closes her eyes. That it was all because I didn't run my little shops and ventures from a dump inside an abandoned chimney? Call it a dump. You made it nice and cozy in here. Yeah? She stares out the window, not really hearing your words. Or maybe it's the entire world that's cursed. It's such a precarious place. No one, nothing ever works out how you want it. That's why people play role-playing games. You can be whoever you want to be. You can try again. Still, there's something inherently violent even about Dark Souls. It's like every time you cast a die, something disappears. Some alternative ending or some entirely different world. She picks up a pair of dice from the table and examines them under the light. But anyway, thank you for sharing your, uh, your theories, officer. She gives you a tired smile. We've got the precarious world. Seems like the point of this game is victory. The absence of defeat on all fronts. All red checks will fail while I'm studying that. Oof. The absence of defeat on all fronts. Victory in business ventures and creative undertakings. Victory in love and even other people. Political victory, ideological victory, hell, even sexual victory. Definitely a lot of objective, uh, object-based victories too. Having things and not losing them. One problem though. Not a lot of victors in sight. Everyone's mostly losing. Why is that? And how do you not lose? Okay, that has four hours left. This has 58 minutes left. I could just read until the Insulindian miracle is done. And I'm very tempted to. You know what? Yeah, I'm like extremely, extremely tempted to, to the point that I'm just going to do it. Where is it? 16 coldest days in April. This is the one that like completely just read 10 more pages hang on i'm not dead yet okay put the book away fine that was the one that kills me never mind that's not the one that i can read greatest innocence no this is the first one pale no i want one that i don't have to interact that much with that i can just kind of spam my way through i mean like primer for small kids I mean, never mind. I can't actually do this. Just spam one in space. So I got the Guillaume Le Mignon fo uh, thought, and very soon, <laughs> I love that Kim's just behind me watching me for hours read the alphabet.
That's got to eventually stop, right? I'm not even putting the inputs in anymore. I may have put too many inputs in. There you go. Put the book away. <laughs> Kim, I know the alphabet now. It only took a couple hours. And I know I should have already known it, but still. It's all complete. Guillaume Le Million. Pain threshold? No, it's physical instrument I need. Dang. Uh, bad news. Guillaume Le Million did not become a cop. In 38, he went on a tour of the Hins uh, Sinyao province in Safra, where he died of autoerotic asphyxiation. His body was found hanging from a decorative dragon tree in his junior suite amid drug paraphernalia, unwholesome objects, and the Sylvia Trainer single, Wonderland, skipping in the background. And yes, you can take this as a metaphor for Ravishol in the 30s, and also as a warning. Pain threshold, pain threshold. I mean, water door is pain threshold, but I don't need that. Bar door, okay, no. Still physical instrument that I need to increase, so that didn't even work. Insul Indian Miracle. I mean, that's almost done. I don't have the ability to forget another thought and get the... Yeah, I think I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna see it through until the Insul Indian Miracle is done, I think. This might not necessarily be in the spirit of things, but we don't have that much to do unless we can get more pain threshold right now. Get him. So what, it's two hours and 45 minutes that it needs me to go ahead here, I think. This also isn't advancing time. Oh, right, no, because I'm not flipping through the pages. It's flip through the pages, let's do this, one, one, one. Yes. Flip through the pages. Let's do this. One, one, one. Two, one, 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 one. Two, one, 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 one. Space. Two, one, 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 one. Space. Oh, that's so much faster. Hey, there we go. Instantly need a miracle done. Put that book away. That's all it took. <laughs> That's all I needed. All white checks unlocked. Thank you. It's easy. You know the poem by heart because you were taught it at school. It's one of Walter Domar's mantras repeated on the voyage that led to the discovery of the insulin Dean Isola. And the words mean, nothing will be changed about the light colors like gray and brown all printed on top of one another i found a blank white spot all the others looked up what a beautiful day what a beautiful weather but all i heard was the printing machine what strange words to celebrate a new world uh i don't have any white checks here that i need to re like all of my white checks are open damn real for real yeah for real for real except i still can't get Renéo's sandwich well, actually, hang on. No, Rene is dead. Uh, Rene is dead. So I need to go and confront his ghost. I'll be on my way after I get this open with Gethalsund. I'll even wear physical instrument gear. I think I actually have a little bit of physical instrument gear these days now. All right, get out of that Gethalsund. Go. Even with the Kvalsund in hand, I can't get that necessarily? What? Am I holding it in the wrong hand? Better grip with gloves and I... I really thought this would... I guess the other one said crowbar's not strong enough, but I'm, I don't know if I have enough uh, physical instruments to actually do this. Like, I'm not gonna be able to re-roll this after this point. How would I? There's a tank top for a little. Mm. 
Pain threshold, pain threshold, half light, yeah. It's the best I can do, is this. A 3% roll. I was never gonna get this. <laughs> Turn the crank. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying. In the distance, you hear water dripping. Turn it again. And again. This is really the... I mean, I thought I had a good chance last time. I tried that. Didn't I? He's dead still. Ice around it slowly melting. Hand cranked ice cream churner. And I don't mean to churn this stuff on the inside. I've probably churned it a bunch of times now. I mean... Fine? Yeah, of course I failed. Ice squeaks beneath your qualsomed multi-tools, but your fingers slip away from the tool and the lid shuts as tightly as before. It's already unplugged. There's not much else to do other than wait for it to defrost or bulk up and get stronger. How long do I have to wait for this to defrost? It will have to re-unlock after I wait for it to defrost, right? I thought it was... It, how many days will that... I have no clue. No need to wrinkle my brain on that one. Time to get out to other things. If I can't do anything there at the moment, I can't do anything in there at the moment. That's fine. Okay. Ooh. Joyce is back up there? I'll give it a quick check. I don't I don't think she is, but she might be. Joyce, are you in and amongst any of these pixels? Joyce, which of these pixels are you? Nope. Not even slightly there. I haven't got enough conceptualization. Oh my god, I haven't even got enough conceptualization to look at that wall yet. Oh no, I think I may have already succeeded that wall. Never mind. Okay. Just back at this. Sleeping dog worker trash container. Right, fine, whatever. Map wall, don't care about that. Slow Martin, Bard Door. Don't really care about any of those. I can go talk to Lillian again, try my chances on a 17 again. I mean, I guess the most important thing at reopen is the Feld Mural, but... Kind of... Could have reopened that my... I mean, I could have reopened that myself, but I didn't actually end up... Le did I level up? I did level up my shivers. Well... Didn't really save the point that I thought I had. Gaston, may I have your sandwich? I know it's a hard time for you, and I know that sandwich is all you have, but I'm a little bit peckish. All right. Whew, I really don't know what to do when the Kvalsen doesn't open that. Like it keeps saying, the logic keeps saying, wait for it to free, uh, wait for it to defrost. I don't. How long is that gonna take? Is that like an actual thing that's implemented in the game, or is that just flavor text? So we did everything regarding Everard already. Basically, like, the only next thing we need to do is find Ruby. And the Feld Mural is our best clue as to how to do that. I feel like so much of the game is currently wrapping up. But I also feel kind of directionless right now because I only have one thing to do at a time. And then I run into a wall and I'm like, okay, well, I can't do anything then. 
gonna need to change my shivers tie. No, I'm wearing my shivers. Actually, no, I'm wearing all my shivers kit already. So 42 is my best. Wow. That's rough. Dang it. <sighs> like, I can't even level up shivers beyond this point. I've explored all of the map that I'm aware of. I... I don't rightly know what to do right now. Let's, let's look at this map and see if it provides any clarity. That, nothing. Pale driver, I mean, maybe I could go talk to the pale driver, but it's also possible she'll just say nothing because she's just not really talking. This one was barred, I think. Maybe we try and, yeah, I guess. Fine, we'll try and go down and loop around and see if we can see anything on the building where the people got shot. I can't go down that way, fine. Because I think at some point we were talking about a door over here that could be opened. Eh, it definitely doesn't look like any openable doors right there to me. Am I missing something incredibly obvious? I feel like I must be. I, I I simply do not know where to go anymore. I think I'm just going to continue roaming the coast for a little while to see if I can find anything on the coast that I missed last time that might provide us the key to Ruby's whereabouts. Because that's like the next obvious thing. Other than that, like, I guess, go around and talk to Suna again. I don't really think Suna will have anything to say to me differently. A cell? I mean, a cell probably hasn't got anything to say to me differently either. Yeah, let's go up this part. Suna, I... I'm having difficulty with this Carlson tool. Could you come back and use it? Because your white check's probably open. Mine is closed. Reaction speed. Hey! Her innocence Dolores Day liked little figurines, right? Liked little... Liked holding little men between her fingers, remember? What? You have to... You have the helmet... Uh, da. You have the headless fallen rider figurine. You should give it back to her. Win her back. What? Win who back? I can't win her back. She's a long dead historical figure. Don't be so pessimistic. Love doesn't die that easily. This isn't funny. You have a bad feeling about this one. I mean, I... Wasn't she a war criminal? As much as I want to follow the story through, forget about this. Discard thought. It would have been beautiful, really tiny, thoughtful, clever. Whatever it was, it feels like you made the right choice not to peek into it. Yes, what is it? Yeah, the offsite copy you asked me to bring. Uh, it's completely frozen. It's getting ridiculous. Can't you defrost it or I don't know. Just figure something out. There's a solution. She doesn't want to hand it over to you just yet. It's a thing, something she holds dear. I mean, but how many times do I have to ask you? Because you're going to have to give me the information because I have nothing. Another two millimeter hole, nothing. All right, I'll leave you to work in peace, I guess. Look at that. I have no more information on it. And I guess walk away. I'm feeling like I got a lot of empty locations and nothing I can really progress right now. 
I finished Everard's quest. Everard doesn't really have anything to say to me anymore. Maybe I just go back and tell Everard that I got my gun from pigs? Like, that's... Possibly related? I don't know how I would get enough experience to... Start thinking different thoughts at this point. I think I'm probably gated into the thoughts I'm going to be able to think for the rest of the game at this point. Hello again. Nothing. Y'all will have nothing to say to me. There's no reason to even check there. I have no update on their storyline. The final thing is just going up the absolute end of the coast. But apparently I can't go around it that way. This one ought to be fine. I don't know what we're going to spot up here that we hadn't spotted last time. But, I mean, I do have shivers on now. I didn't have shivers on last time I was up here. So it's possible that we get like a, a head thought about shivers as opposed to all of our toe thoughts. Also about shivers though. either yeah it feels like the quest was designed that is the the cryptozoologist quests was just designed to try and get us to go to all of those we already did it There's nothing really to be done up here anymore yeah i'm i'm completely confused And entirely out of time as well. For the moment, my name's in Rhapsody. I'm going to go confront Everard at the start of the next episode. And then after that, I'm going to scratch my head for about 35 minutes. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.